Yeah. yeah. No, it's certainly, it's a king size orphan. Yeah, yeah. PCBs probably. Oh yeah. This uh, blue knob does. Uh, I don't think people... Come on, Adam. Showing me these. Yeah, GE oh, makes yeah. a big manufacturer. What is this? What's this stuff? Spider webbing or something? Yeah, probably fishnets. Oh yeah, that makes perfect sense. Fish? Uh... That behind you is the Hazelton shaft. Yeah. Um, when it was operational, there were four huge bull wheels up in the top that would lower the equipment, men, machinery, and take coal up and out. And uh, once you kind of get a, a walk around and you get a feel for what was what the individual components are, it should kind of falls together like a jigsaw puzzle. But uh, most of the coal in this part of the basin came out of those holes. Hmm. Um, those drawings that I, I shared with you, in the, uh, they go down to a maze of, of mines beneath us. Um, now, uh, the original breaker, I guess, was built here in the 18, 18 late 80s, 1890s, or whatever. And coal was brought up, coal was brought into this facility three ways either underground and up into the shaft. And here again, this complex served this whole valley, this whole valley area that we're standing in. Um, it was brought in underground, brought in by rail. Uh, this long building here is a hopper dump. Uh, coal cars are pushed in. There were heaters, there still are heaters in that building to, to uh, thaw out the cars if they'd be frozen. And then they get dumped in this part of the building here, and then eventually get the coal would go up into the uh, elevated conveyors and up into the, the breaker. Or coal could be transported in by truck. And there's a number of facilities around here for just dumping the coal uh, into the, uh, the conveyor works and taking the coal up that way. What sorts of this building? Uh, this is the main breaker. This is the second breaker that was built on this site. <clears throat> From what I can make out of it, uh, well, the, the little book that I gave you is a good book. It has a lot of stuff in it, but it's wrong. Um, the, uh, this is the second breaker at this site. Uh, the old one was a wooden breaker? I the guess. old one was a wooden breaker, and uh, I think like most of it, um, its fate was to fire. Mm. Uh, this is, I think, built from the, from the look of the stuff inside. It seems as if it's 1920, 1930 uh, engineering and uh, equipment and stuff. And uh, the coal is transported up in two big conveyors here to the top. And then it began its journey down into, uh, through a number of jigs, uh, crushers, sorters, and whatnot uh, to get cleaned and sized and then it was transported out either by truck or by rail. So we'll, we'll kind of take a, uh, begin at the, the, the point of origin, I guess, and, and kind of loop around and uh, uh, look at each of these. Just take an hour and a half or two hours or so and get a feel for this place. Um, this place, I guess, had a couple thousand men working around it and under it at one time. Big operation. Yes, it was you know, a huge operation. Um, we'll get into over there are the wash bays and the uh, the lockers and whatnot, and and this kind of neat where they guys came in and uh, unlocked their uh, their basket, let their basket down, oh. put their clothes on. Is that open? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'd love to see that. And uh, change out their clothes and then haul it up for their shift and lock it up and go to work. Must have been a lot of sediment in the, uh, through the wash basin uh, from the coal dust that they washed off. Uh, washed off themselves as well as uh, coming from the, the washery here. Indeed, there's a whole another breaker facility that you can see once we get on the other side of this that took care of that, that silt. They processed the silt hmm. for uh, BTU content. 
So, the, so it, the coal was, was sent up these chutes right here? Right. The coal, this, this particular one was probably for uh, dumping, I would assume dumping out of a truck and, and went up that way. The conveyor systems are still in. This particular facility here uh, served both rail and truck and mine um, and went up here to a transition house. This little house behind us was built there uh, to help free up the, uh, sometimes those conveyors would, would break down and there'd be a, a bunch of problems and, and this little transition house uh, helped uh, uh, free up some of those breakdowns and what have you. At least they could have a stopping place and fill halfway. There is a lab on site around on the other side of the, uh, uh, a lot of the, the work that they did is essentially sorting out the BTU content. And uh, there seems to be a whole science in, in separating the different units by the, what, what BTU they had. Uh, I'm told that you bring a sample of coal to one of these labs and they could tell you what vein it came from mm. just by the uh, amount of ash and its, and its heat value. So let's, uh, let's go around to the, uh, these things go down, God, I don't know how, at least 800 feet, straight down. Uh, those are pumps there. They had a number of series, of, or a number of different attempts to, to control water in the valley. And here I'm talking about water from, from here as far as you can see, that way. Uh, all the mines are inter interconnected. So, uh, uh, to... The, the coal is in, in deep pockets like this, and to get down to the bottom of the pockets, they have to control the flow of water underneath. So they built a, a pump station uh, several hundred feet underground here, and uh, that pumped the water up to a level, and then it was allowed to run off in, in the drainage tunnel that emptied on the other side of the mountain. Uh, then once these shafts for this place is no longer used, you can see they put some shafts in, or, or large uh, turbine pumps. But essentially, the coal was uh, hauled up under, from underground right here, and came up, and if you look up there, you can see a, like a sideways S up there. There's two of them, a couple of them, uh, where the car, well, actually it's a skip, it's pulled up, and then it's turned upside down and dumped. And the coal was dumped up into those pockets. And then those pockets emptied down into one of those conveyor systems that went up into the breaker. Where was uh, the, the air ventilation system? Uh, did they have only one central location or they no. had several shafts? Uh... There, there are many, as well as escape shafts. We'll see some of the air works over in that building. So this will all be gone in a month? Yeah, they'll begin to, to take it down, so I'm told. Huh. Uh, we are standing on the mine shaft. This thing goes straight down for several hundred feet. And I tried, last time I was here, I tried dropping a couple rocks down there. <laughs> and I couldn't hear them hit. Can we try? If you want, yeah, sure. Just be careful. I don't. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to help them. Okay, this, from what I gathered, one of my buddies at work have a, has, a, has a book that describes some of the skiff loaders. Yeah. Be careful, I'm here. I'm sorry. I won't hear it. 